OK, one South Texas man is setting a very high bar for himself, determined to become one of the oldest persons ever to climb Mount Everest, and he's training for it in one of the most unexpected places. Border correspondent Oscar Margain brings us the story from Brownsville, Texas. In one word, how would you describe Mr. Everest? Achiever. Very strong. Energetic. He may not seem like a bird or a plane, but the people who know him could very well be describing Superman. At age 72, Ramiro Herrera has run in 56 marathons across the country. He's been running since he was eight years old, but he's about to face his greatest challenge, Mount Everest. In May, Ramiro spent two weeks hiking 45 miles to the base of the mountain, which is about halfway to the summit, after several travel companies refused to take him. It takes an average of two months to reach the top. Four people reportedly died that same weekend trying to make the hike. But if Ramiro is to conquer the Everest, he's going to need a training partner. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Not saying that partner is me, of course. It's nearly 100 degrees out here. We're at sea level in South Texas. How do you train in this climate for Mount Everest? Well, I, I train all the time right here. Because I train in the, in the hot weather, when I run in the cold weather, it's better for me because uh, I, don't, I don't sweat in the cold weather. Ramiro also claims he's never been sick in his life. He doesn't yeah. drink, he doesn't smoke, just run. From the six miles to 12 or 16 miles a day. A day? A day. Word of his first attempt has made him a local hero of sorts, inspiring those around him to follow his footsteps. I always go with him anywhere he goes including his wife, San Juana, who never leaves his side, even if that means going to a place where there's always a chance he may never return. Because I like him. You know, I like how he runs and how he struggles himself. And, you know, he always wants to do that. San Juana's goal is to help him get sponsors before he returns to Nepal in March. Climbing Mount Everest can set a person back about $85,000, she says. That's pretty steep. But Ramiro says the greatest return to people's investment in him is his health. The exercise is the best life insurance I can buy. And that's probably the most important lesson I have learned today. To chase your dreams, that is. Reporting in Brownsville from the Texas-Mexico border, I'm Oscar Margain and I'm out of breath. <laughs>